Hello everyone, this is Eva Yu, and you are watching Global Startup Channel, ISUP. So today, we're with CTO of Songji Mobile, Aihua Huang. And, uh, hello Aihua. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Very nice to meet you. So, um, could you tell us more about Songji Mobile? Okay. Uh, <coughs> Songji Mobile is a mobile-only company, and uh, found it started 10 years ago in mm -hmm. China and uh, right now the major business uh, for us is uh, to provide the mobile application mainly on Android platform mm -hmm. actually we focus to uh, one single problem mm -hmm. which is uh, how the user can how the smartphone user can uh, control the feel and the look of their smartphone by provide uh, a bunch of essential uh, tools uh, to the user like uh, launcher SMS or Locker, cable, things, things like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, company is uh, based, uh, headquarters is in uh, Guangzhou, China, and we also have uh, uh, office is open in <coughs> San Francisco, United States. Yeah, and uh, we have about uh, uh, 800 employees globally. Wow. How did the name comes from? Okay. Uh, when the uh, Company started the business ten years back in China, and uh, actually the business uh, back at that time it's a so-called web website portal mm -hmm. website, and in China we call the website is Sanji uh, Menhu. Sanji Menhu means uh, 3G uh, portal, 3G portal. So when we uh, last year when we <laughs> when we decided to go in public in Nasdaq, so we think uh, we need to make some uh, make a name. Which is uh, either close to the Chinese uh, pronunciation and also uh, easy to uh, remember. So we choose the Sanji Mobile. Uh, Sanji Mobile really um, gives importance in the user experience, the UX. Okay. So um, could you tell us about that? Okay. Yeah. Sanji, Sanji Mobile. It's it's all. I mean, we focus on the user experience because the the vision of our company is to provide the best. Uh, mobile experience for the smartphone user so like I said uh, uh, we have to make sure the user can control their uh, uh, smartphone's UI and uh, UX and uh, they can get a lot of uh, added value uh, for their smartphone so uh, for example like uh, <coughs> the user buy a phone uh, buy a new phone to their uh, Samsung or other brand and uh, if they are not satisfied with uh, functionality, the basic functionality for the SMS or the way how to check the weather, uh, what he can do is he have to wait uh, for another hardware release, firmware release. But uh, if they have choice for the third party uh, application like Go Apps, so they can pretty much get more, you know, uh, much more user experience from, from mm -hmm. that. Okay. Mm. So uh, in case of Go launcher. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, Koreans uh, that use Go launcher, mm -hmm. and uh, I also have experience using it. Mm -hmm. And people actually don't know it was Chinese company. Yeah. So uh, I guess from really back then, you launched Go launcher in Korea. Yeah. So could you tell us about the Korea market? Why were you like focused in? Yeah. Um, that's a beauty. I think that's a beauty of the. Um, mobile internet industry because uh, uh, it, it's born to be I mean it's born to be uh, globalized in nature that means because uh, uh, we focus on the user experience part and uh, it's more like uh, essential tools so uh, for any requirement the user uh, need uh, in Chinese market the, 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 the pro probability I mean the the user in the I mean international user might need the same requirement as well. So uh, that's why we're I mean initially we're not focused on uh, uh, actually Korean market. We even do not have any employee here. So <laughs> and also the team probably the only one person can speak Korean. <laughs> yeah. So uh, initially uh, uh, we released an English version of Go Launcher back in uh, 2010 and. Uh, release in uh, U.S. market because by, by, uh, because by that time the U.S. market and the Western you know, uh, country market has a higher uh, uh, penetration of the Android phones so uh, and then later we find uh, somehow we find uh, 
the user in Korea uh, picks up very quickly. Yeah, very quickly, and uh, we realize uh, the reason might be the Android phone penetration in Korea just uh, pick up, and a lot of user actually probably more than ninety percent of user here use Android phone. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. VSIOS, so that's a uh, that's a one reason. Another reason is because uh, we focus on the personalization. So I think uh, Korean people uh, uh, like you know uh, beautify <laughs> their their phone, you know, uh, everything. So right. that's probably another reason we uh, have so many users here. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, also, you uh, recently um, like with IHQ. Mm -hmm. um, you made you came up with oh, it's on. Uh, it, you came up with Go Launcher Korea. Mm -hmm. So, is there any further plans according to that? Uh, yes, because uh, uh, the the idea behind the joint venture with a local company is uh, uh, since we saw a lot of the we have a large user base here, and the users actually like our products, and uh, we have a strong uh, product here, but. Uh, we also received uh, quite a lot of competition here uh, from local company like uh, Labor or Kakao. They also have their own launcher, and uh, our you know their advantage is they have some uh, local resource and uh, marketing capability. So that's what we actually uh, lack of. So so uh, so we think we uh, we should find a partner here locally, mm -hmm. and who can help us uh, you know, with the content uh, with. Uh, Marketing, so that's why we find uh, IHQ, uh, which is a uh, local entertainment uh -huh. company, and they have this uh, uh, like uh, entertainment content which uh, can be possibly used uh, for our you know, home content or things or something like that. So, and also they have a very strong marketing mm -hmm. ability. So, mm -hmm. uh, we will talk about this, and they also think, of, well, okay, that's uh, you know. Plus together we can you know make a much better mark mm -hmm. <laughs> product here so yeah I uh, think in the future uh, we will we have a <coughs> uh, we will release a more localized version of Go Launcher or other Go apps which serve the Korea users much better. Mm -hmm. Wow! So uh, I would also like to mention the game industry. Mm -hmm. I could see um, Sungjin Mobile's uh, interest in the game market uh, that you. Um, also, uh, opened a subsidiary into game industry, and also uh, bought three companies, like game companies. So, uh, what's his goal in the game industry? Okay, yeah, uh, <clears throat> the gaming uh, it's uh, uh, it's where I mean for the internet uh, industry, gaming is uh, where the money is, where the user like most. So, uh, when any company, I mean, you, if you have a large user base, uh, the first thing you think about is uh, you should, uh, you need to monetize through the game. So that's, uh, for us, I mean, either in, in Chinese, I mean, China, we uh, we have the portal website, which is also can have a, I mean, gather a lot of user and have a lot of traffic. So uh, for the Go apps, we also have a large user base, so we, uh, we can. I mean, it's a, by nature. It's a. It's a platform to 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 distribute the games or to publish the games. So mm. that's why we uh, try. You know, to to get started with the gaming business. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, for us, I mean, uh, we more like you know, we 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 choose not to uh, uh, develop uh, or you know to develop to put a, f a lot of R and D resource on gaming mm -hmm. by ourselves. It's more like. A, we work with other third-party uh, game developer, you know, to help them to dis distribute, uh, distribute the game, and also to help them to uh, improve the engagement and uh, to you know to 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 like to earn the revenue together mm -hmm. to share the revenue. So in that mm -hmm. model, yeah. Oh, so uh, I saw uh, like a note that like in case of China. Rather than working in really uh, have revenue coming from the in advertisements, they said like uh, working as a platform and having uh, their ecosystem of game startups could all be also be mm -hmm. like good source of revenue, like getting direct uh, revenue from the customers. Does that work like that way? 
Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. So currently, you have more like uh, your business model is also like much more towards. Uh, yeah, it's more. Yeah, it's more like drive uh, drive the user to 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 for these uh, game developers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, instead of uh, uh, develop our own game and uh, get the revenue from the user play. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah. I want to hear about like much more culture differences that you notice mm -hmm. by releasing your uh, product in China, Korea, and US. Mm -hmm. So is there a kind of like a user prefers kind of this design or they tend to behave in these patterns? Are there any insights mm -hmm. like that? Yeah, because <coughs> you, you talk about how the, the distribution of the product and also the user preference, right? So. For the first one, uh, the I mean distribution of the product is uh, so much different in uh, United States, uh, Korea, and the uh, Chinese market because uh, uh, <coughs> till now the Chinese uh, user can do not have access to Google Play, which is a very you know so uh, is popular like <laughs> outside of China like ninety eight percent of the traffic the, the user installs come from Google Play. So, but in China. Uh, there's no such channel, so uh, there's a lot of third-party uh, app store, so you have to deal with them. And uh, unlike the Google Play, this uh, app store is, uh, I would say, it's 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 not. I think, uh, for example, you have to pay some money to get feature, which in Google Play is not the case. <laughs> yeah, if your product is good and uh, the editor like it, uh, you have a chance to be promoted. So. Well, that's a, that's a different that's a different and uh, okay another thing is um, like the user preference so well that's in product side I think that's a that's a lot that's a lot of difference uh, give an example like uh, we have uh, so many <coughs> go launcher sims and we have found that uh, the Western users United States users they like uh, the same which is uh, dark and uh, which is um, with uh, I'll say technology feel something like that, and uh, in Korea, the people like uh, some cartoon cartoon style and cute style. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of difference. In case Korean startups, especially in mobile, they're interested in a Chinese market, what would you advise to them? Okay, um, I think uh, if Korea startup want to go to Chinese market, and uh, you need to really uh, know what the uh, Chinese uh, user really need. I think that's a, that's a number one thing. I mean, the, the user needs or requirement can be global. I mean, like uh, go launcher, what go launcher did, right? I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Korea or Chinese user, you can make this stuff and the user like it, then, then you, can, you, 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 you can go. But uh, another thing is you have to understand a little bit about uh, the difference of the, you know, the market and uh, uh, like I just expand, so you have, uh, if you want to distribute your, your product who, you know, which uh, app store you have to work with or something like that. So, so I think uh, my suggestion is uh, if you really want to do that, uh, it's better to find uh, some you know, local partner and uh, at least to give you advice. It's better to work with you, but if not, at least give some advice. So I think that's important. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, maybe lastly, uh, what would you like to say to a uh, Korean audience or could be uh, entrepreneurs? Okay, yeah, um, <coughs> I think uh, mm, uh, what I want to say is just this. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, for the, uh, for the internet industry, I think uh, uh, if you start your uh, business, you really want uh, to, to try to solve some uh, Problem, yeah. Try try to solve the problem and start from this small problem solving and uh, uh, focus on it. Focus on it, and uh, you will success. Mm -hmm. Wow! <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the interview. Uh, thank you for uh -huh. having me. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.